Okay, so in this video we're going to go over GeoTracker Pro and in this first part we're going to go over just installing it and then for more advanced look for say like the IT folks who's installing this uh, any permissions or anything that needs to be set up in advanced or post installation. Alright, so let's begin. Now the install itself is actually pretty straightforward. Uh, you get a setup.exe file here and once you've downloaded it you just double click on it to run it. You will have to be an administrator to run the install. So it's, this is kind of one of those click next a bunch of times and then finish kind of an install. So we'll do that. And this part right here does take a moment. This is a very large package that it has to digest. And once it finishes, it's going to start executing some scripts. Now these scripts are going to be important and I'll show you where they are and what they're doing. So the first thing it's doing is it's running Microsoft Edge WebView 2. This is the library that's used by GeoTracker Pro to access the internet and access the Google Maps. Now in this case I already have this installed on my computer so this message is perfectly fine uh, so we'll just hit close. But like I said it already says that there's a more recent version on there. That's good. That's what we need. Now this one comes up behind sometimes, so that's kind of a little bit odd, but uh, this is a Visual C++ 2010 redistributional setup. Uh, on here, this has also already been installed. If it wasn't, you could continue and finish the install because the libraries in here are required. So we'll close out of that. Of course, we have another one here, the 2015 libraries as well. Uh, if you go to install, well, it looks like again on this computer right here, I already have it installed, which that's perfectly fine. So these are already already done. Now we get to this spot right here. We can say, no, I will restart my computer later. That's perfectly fine. Now, you should get a shortcut that it creates for the application up here, and that'll be what we'll use to open it. But before we do that, let's take a look at how some of the settings might actually be uh, how they were installed. And this is kind of the more advanced thing. So one of the things that you'll notice is under Program Files, x86, under Adapco, there should be a GeoTracker Pro folder here. And here are all the applications that are needed to uh, make the thing run. You'll also find a folder in here called Library. In here are some OCX files and some things that the registry needs to have ran to make sure it you know, does everything. Now, when that install happened, all of these things would actually have been completed. Um, because mostly all this stuff right here in this reg files will be executed as you've already seen. So that needs to be ran. That needs to be ran as the administrator under the account that is going to probably be using this version of GeoTracker. One of the ways we know that this has been done properly is if we go into the C drive and if we were to go into the program data directory, which is a hidden directory by Microsoft standards, but if you type in C colon slash program data, it'll come right up. And then in here, you should see an Adapco. And then in here, you should see a GeoTracker Pro folder. If you see this stuff in here, that's a good sign. Um, once we open GeoTracker for the first time, it'll also create another folder, hopefully successfully here. Now, opening up for the first time, we get this message here. The settings file for GeoTracker Pro is currently in read-only. Don't worry about that. It's because there isn't a settings file here yet. You'll see this folder that just got created a second ago is going to be copying that data over. So let's move this so we can see what's going on here. You can also get rid of that. So if I hit OK, unable to create a backup file. That's fine. That's acceptable your license is not valid, or your system time is not correct. Now that part we do have to handle here and we'll deal with that here in a minute. So we hit OK, and now GeoTracker is set up. So if I close out of this, you'll now note that I have two GeoTracker Pro folders here, one with a space and one without. In here is that settings file that we were trying to create. That's a file that needs to be set as a read, write, and execute type thing. As a matter of fact, all the stuff that's in this program data adapto directory should have user privileges uh, to read, write, and execute, and modify. If they don't, 
uh, they are not going to work. Another folder that it's going to create is a C ground folder. And in here, there will also be some files that it creates on its first go. These two must have, for the user who is using this, read, write, and execute. If they don't have it, and in this case I'm an administrator, so of course I have it, but if I was logged in as any other user, this needs to be set up so that at least the user or the user's group or the everyone group has the ability to read, write, and execute and modify to the C ground directory. Now, if you decide to move the data from C ground over to a network share, which we will cover later on in these video series, that folder would need those permissions and then this one would not need it so much. But that's how that works. So in the next video, we're going to go over setting up the basics on GeoTracker Pro and how to get your license set up and how to move some directories around. So stay, stay tuned to that video. Thanks.